get through a few things. The first thing I want to point out is uh, the importance of angels in this, in this account. It's going to talk about the Son and the superiority of the Son and why he's superior than angels. We would think, obviously, that Jesus, the Son of God, uh, God himself, is superior to angels. But for some reason, the author feels it's important at the beginning of the book to bring out his superiority over angels. If you look on your notes right here, it says, uh, point one, the word better is used 13 times in Hebrews to compare Christ, Jesus Christ, the Son, and the New Covenant uh, with the Old Covenant. So what the, the whole book is basically summed up is what the Christ has done. The New Covenant is better than the Old Covenant. The Old Covenant, the Old Testament. Uh, the Old Testament is fulfilled by the New Covenant, and we're going into another world, another age, the Millennial Age, the Kingdom Age, and we're in that transition. When the end times have begun in the sense when the Christ came, when the Son arrived, this was, again, the beginning of the fulfillments prophesied in the Old Testament, and so we've entered into the fulfillment of that. And in this New Covenant, it's better for a variety of reasons. And like I said, 13 times it's going to be compared. It's going to be compared to the covenant itself. Here it's compared to angels. It's going to be compared to Moses. It's going to be compared to the priesthood. It's going to be compared to the sacrifices. Jesus' sacrifice is better than the Old Testament. Jesus' covenant is better than Moses' covenant. Everything is, Jesus' priesthood is better than the priesthood. But now out of, you know, at the beginning it says the son is superior and better than the angels. And it, it's kind of like a no-brainer. Uh, we can see why we need a transition from Moses into the new covenant, from the, the priesthood of the Jews into the priesthood of Jesus.